Today I'm making homemade delicata squash soup using squash I grew right outside our trailer. I'm using a recipe by Sue Hazer on allrecipes.com. Are we ready to start yet? Let's see, cold wintry weather? Check. Festive leggings and cute slippers? Check. Okay, let's go. First, preheat your oven to 325 degrees. I have a propane RV stove, which I light each time I use it. It gets less scary each time you don't blow up. Then find three delicata squash. They're not too common in stores, which is why it's fun to grow them myself. Scrub that squash to remove all dirt. Next, carefully cut each squash in half longwise. Oh, I thought these were supposed to be easier to cut than a butternut squash. Later, I realized it's easier to cut down each side almost to the stem and then crack it open and tear off the stem by hand. Next, scoop out the seeds. I'm using a grapefruit spoon, which has a serrated edge. If you're ambitious, you can wash and dry the seeds and save them to plant in the spring. My squash were grown from seeds I saved over three years ago. Fill a glass baking dish with about an eighth inch of water. My dish is only 11 by seven because that's what fits in my RV oven. Normally you'd put the squash side by side like this, but since my dish is so small, I have to get a little creative. It's fine, it's fine. Cover tightly with foil and bake in a preheated oven for about 40 minutes or until tender. I typically have to extend the time a little bit for my particular oven. While the squash is baking, gather the other ingredients. I used one and a half cups of diced sweet onion, three cups of chicken stock, and four tablespoons of butter. I skip the heavy whipping cream, salt, and pepper of the original recipe. Once the squash is tender and cooled enough to handle, about 20 minutes in my case, scoop out the cooked flesh. I'm using the same serrated grapefruit spoon I used earlier. If the squash is cooked enough, it should be pretty easy to scoop it out. We are finally ready to make the soup. Melt the butter in a pot. I chose my large soup pot, but in hindsight, my medium three-quart pot would have been more appropriate. Once the butter is melted, add the diced onion. Cook on medium-low heat until the onion is softened, stirring occasionally. Add the broth and the squash. My cooked squash turned out to be about two cups worth. Stir in the squash, breaking it up as needed, and simmer on medium-low heat for 25 minutes. I lost a bit of liquid in this process, so maybe I should have kept the lid on. Now we can blend the soup for a smooth, creamy texture. Of course you can use a regular blender for this step, but my immersion blender takes up much less space and is easier to wash. If I had used a smaller pot, the blender would have worked better with a higher level of liquid. I did end up having to tilt the pot to the side to make it deeper to get the soup blended as smoothly as I wanted it. This would go great with grilled cheese, but I cheat by making butter cheese toast in the oven. Did you know the bottom portion of an RV oven is a broiler? Okay, I'm finally finished. This is one of the few recipes I don't mind the effort of making because the result is so much better than anything store-bought.